the parent and i welcome you to this lesson let's see what we will learn in this lesson difference between roll and slide and identify objects that roll and slide today chotu and pinky have come to play in the park with their mother mummy i want to play on the slide yes mummy me too okay children go and slide chotu and pinky take turns to slide chotu had his ball in his pocket and it slipped out of his pocket when he was sliding off from the slide hey chotu Your ball also slid with you. Pinky, the ball does not slide. It rolls. Mummy, what is rolling? See children, some objects slide and we say they are sliding. And some objects roll and we say they are rolling. to know which of the objects roll and which ones slide we will get few objects come on pinky go and bring that water bottle and a wooden scale and chotu you go and get that tiffin box and ball of wool okay, okay mummy pinky brought a bottle of water and a wooden scale and chotu brought a tiffin box and a ball of wool come on let's see what they are doing now chotu and pinky both of you bring the objects here and then push them one by one off the swing to see if it is rolling or sliding just see pinky water bottle just rolled and fell down and chotu your tiffin box came down sliding mummy let me just try pushing this wooden scale look mummy it slid down isn't it yes pinky this wooden scale slid down mummy may i try and push this woolen ball yes chotu why don't you try mummy this ball of wool rolled and came down rightly said chotu so mummy this means that all round objects roll and the rest of the objects slide down is it so mummy yes chotu the objects that have a round surface they roll just like this orange it is round so it will roll and if the surface is not round like this notebook then it will slide so children did you see objects whose surface is round they roll and object whose surface is not round they slide down so children that was all for today in this video we learn difference between rolling and sliding and identifying objects that roll and the object that slide In the next video we will see some interesting examples of objects that roll and slide till then bye bye children Interesting examples of identifying objects children in the previous video we learned difference between rolling and sliding and identifying objects that roll and the objects that slide 
this video we will see some interesting examples of objects that roll and slide Chotu and Pinky have come home from school today and are playing carrom. Pinky, do you remember that we have been asked in school to make a list of items that roll and slide? Yes, Chotu, I remember. Yes, let's make the list after playing. But Chotu, how shall we know that which object slides and which object rolls? We will have to think about it. But see, I tossed the queen in the pit. Hey, Chotu. These pieces are sliding into the pit. Oh, wow. We got one example. Come on, Pinky. Let's see by pushing more objects like this. And Chotu collected some objects from the house. Chotu, now let's try to push them on the carom board. But Pinky, this carom board is very small. All these objects will not fit into it. Now how will we push objects on it? So we will push every object on the floor one by one and see which objects are rolling and which objects are sliding. Chotu and Pinky started pushing the objects one by one on the floor. Come on, let's push this water bottle. See, it's rolling. Now let's try to push this notebook. It's sliding. It's pencil stone now. And it is continuously rolling. Now let's push the sharpener. It is sliding. Chotu, all the surfaces of the objects which are circular, they are rolling. And the objects whose surfaces are not circular, they are sliding. Yes, Pinky. So children, can you tell me whether this rolling pin will slide or roll? You are right children. The surface of this rolling pin is circular, so it will roll. And this pencil box will slide or roll. If the surface of this pencil box is not circular, it will slide. So children, you saw that the objects whose surface is circular, they always roll on the floor. And those whose surface is not circular, they always slide on the floor. So children, in this video, we identified the objects that roll and objects that slide. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of identifying objects that roll and slide and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Till then, bye children! Common mistakes in identifying rolling and sliding objects. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned identifying objects that roll and objects that slide. In this video, we will see objects that roll and slide too. Chotu and Piggy have music class today. Chotu is learning to play the dholak and Pinky is learning to play the flute. Their music sir gave them some time to practice in between classes. Chotu, I also want to play dholak. Please give it to me. Pinky, this dholak is rolling. Yes, Chotu, because this surface of the dholak is circular, that's why. After some time, 
Pinky looked at another dholak. Hey, Choto, just see, we can also slide this dholak. Yes, Pinky, you are right. This means that dholak is round from one side and not round from the other side. The dholak will roll if it is on the round surface and the dholak will slide if it is on the surface which is not round. This means we can roll the dholak as well as slide it. You are right Pinky, come on. Now you play the flute and I will play the dholak. So kids, did you see how a single object can slide as well as roll. After coming back from the music class, Chotu and Pinky started to see some other objects which can both slide as well as roll. We have some objects. Come on, let us see which of these objects roll and which of the objects slide. This is a glass ball. It can only roll because its surface is round. This is a box. It can only slide because none of its surface is round. Now let's see this tin box. It can slide because it has one surface which is not round. And it can also roll because it has a round surface also. And children, this is watermelon. It is round. It means it will roll. So kids, you saw that some objects can slide and even roll. Because some of their surfaces are round and some surfaces are not round. So kids, that was all for today. In this video, we learned about such objects which roll as well as slide. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Bye children.